Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. So I just have a small tip for you guys regarding these adjustment tools. Every now and then you might hear us actually referring to these adjustment tools as different views, like for example the crop view or the adjustments brush view. And the reason why we say that is because they're similar to the library module and how they work. You know, when we talk about the library module, we mentioned that regardless of where you are in Lightroom, like say you're in the book module, if I hit E, it'll take me back to the library module and to the loop view. If I'm in the print module and I hit G, it's going to take me back to the library module in the grid view. Well, the develop module adjustment tools work the same way, and so that's why we sometimes call them views, because as long as we remember the shortcuts to these different tools, we can switch the develop module and that specific tool and that view just by hitting the shortcut. So for example, if I'm in the library module and I'm in the loop view looking at this image and I realize, hey, this image needs to be cropped so that that horizon is perfectly straight. I can hit R and it automatically switches me to my develop module and to my cropping tool overlay. If I'm in the book module and I need to go and create an adjustment brush on something, I can hit K and it'll take me to that image that I have selected in my film strip with the adjustment brush tool selected. So once again, this is another way that you can quickly jump to whatever area in the develop module you need from any other module. So, and every now and then we're going to refer to these as views. Don't get confused. They are still just adjustment tools and local area adjustments. Uh, that's just another name for it and kind of another use for them.